I am George Brett, Hall of Fame third baseman. <clears throat> you rolling? Yep. Okay, we'll try it. We started Brett Brothers Bats about 20 years ago. We owned some minor league baseball teams, and and uh, kids were coming in to play minor league baseball after using aluminum bats their whole life. And uh, they were breaking a lot of bats, and so there was a guy in Kansas City who was intrigued by coming out with a really good wooden bat. So what he would do is he would make these bats, and then uh, we would test them. We got some good responses early. We got some bad responses early. And so we just kept trying to build a really good wooden bat that wouldn't break, that would last long and be more affordable to kids. And as a result, we came up with what we think is the best wooden bat in the industry right now. <laughs> In Little League and Babe Ruth in high school, I definitely would have used them. The best wood that's out there, that goes to the major league players. The second best wood goes to the minor league players. The worst of the wood goes to the to the uh, stores. And somebody goes out and buys a, a bat, a wooden bat, a one-piece wooden bat, it's the worst wood out there. So that's another reason why we wanted to try to infiltrate the market and say, okay, we're going to come out with a bat that you can use in Little League, that you can use in high school, uh, that you can use in, you know, uh, senior leagues that just won't break. No way Bo could do that. If Bo tried to break this bat over his leg, he would break his leg. Well, a quality baseball bat, yeah, you want something that feels good in your hand. You want something that's very balanced. I think our bats are, are the most popular models made by any other bat company in the United States. But the most important thing is, 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 is durability. These bats with the bamboo core and the Kevlar sleeve up the, up the barrel, of the, uh, up the handle of the bat, it just adds to the durability factor. And the, the idea to me is that colleges and high schools will not allow these to be played, they're still using aluminum bats, is, is a farce to me. It really is because these things do not break. The longer you wait on it, the better you see it. I see so many guys just, as soon as the ball releases the pitcher's hand, they start to swing. And uh, so we came up with a poem, the longer you see it, the better you hit it, the harder you hit it, the higher averages. The higher your average is, the more money you make. You know, as, that's as a pro. But to me, I, I, I think one of the big things that so many people do in the major leagues, in the minor leagues, in college, and in high school, even in little leagues and the Ben Johnson leagues, is they try to hit the ball far. Don't hit the ball far. Hit it hard. If you hit it hard, it will go far. And, and all hard is is quick and through. Uh, your arms and your body work through the ball. When you think far, your body doesn't work with your arms. You know, you're, you're getting here and everything's like this, where instead it's, you know, to me that's a good swing. And when people realize that home runs come as a result of a good swing, they'll become a better hitter. Well, we started the company 20 years ago and, and we've seen it grow uh, in the States. We've seen it grow internationally. Uh, we are now the official ball bat uh, protective gear for all Australian club baseball and, and we're doing a lot of work in Korea and in, uh, in Taiwan and uh, I think there's a market for our products here in the States and, uh, and I think Just Bats is going to be a tremendous uh, uh, stepping stone for us to get there.